Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. What is the currency revaluations? Well, in 2017, when Donald Trump was president, he made this speech. Uh, as far as uh, the currency devaluations, I've been complaining about that for a long time. And I believe that we will all eventually, and probably very much sooner than a lot of people understand or think, we will be all at a level playing field. Because that's the only way it's fair. That's the only way that you can fairly compete in trade and other things. And we will be on that field, and we will all be working very hard to do great for our country. But it has to be fair and we will make it fair. So right there, Donald Trump just said he is not happy with the currency devaluations and he would like all the currencies to be level playing field. So what that means is all the currencies will be one to one with the dollar. Anything above the dollar will devalue and any currency below the dollar will increase. It will revalue. And that's where all this currency revaluation talk has started. What people are doing they are buying currencies which are really low at the moment. One of the lowest on the market right now is the Vietnamese dong, where you can get several million dongs for a few hundred dollars. Another really low one is the Iraqi dinar. The Iraqi dinar devalued in 2003 due to the war. If you go on the charts on Google and you search Iraqi dinar and the US dollar, you will see that in 2003, the Iraqi dinar was actually quite strong. I think what happened was the Iraqi government devalued their dinar um, to prevent their, their currency going missing. Yeah, if, if America are raiding you as a country, they're not just coming after what they were coming after. They'll be taking uh, material, they'll be taking money, they'll be taking um, gold, precious metals. So I think what happened was the Iraqi government devalued their currency, so it's worthless. As far as I heard, um, America did take tons and tons of Iraqi dinar back to the USA. What they're doing is sitting on it. I don't know if you remember, when Trump was in power, he was doing a lot of negotiations with Iraq. A lot of negotiations. I think he did he meet the Iraq prime minister, something along the lines like this. And... Um, they were, yeah, they were in talks, basically. And all, it's, all it takes is for one deal, and then that's it. They can increase their dinar, their Iraqi dinar, back again. And, uh, yeah, can you imagine? Everyone that's bought dinar on a low, hold on to it, and then it will go back up if it goes back up. And then, yeah, they'll be worth uh, a lot of money. I mean, no, one, no one knows a price, but going back to what Trump said, everything will be level playing field. So one dinar should be one dollar. One with the Vietnamese dong should be one dollar. Um, another thing, whilst we're on the subject, is that you can actually buy some of these currencies online. Some of these low ones are really hard to get. Governments, they're trying to suppress people from buying and stockpiling a lot of these currencies. They don't want everyone to have it. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I myself have bought some of these currencies. I've bought a little bit of dinar, Vietnamese dongs. Um, whilst we're on the subject as well, a lot of people are investing in the Zimbabwean bonds. They're no longer a circulated currency, but what they are, they are a, they are a bond note. They are going up in value. Um, some people mention that they are going to be a good collector's item. And uh, yeah, it's definitely good to hold a few Zim notes. The 100 trillion Zim notes. And guys, before you do anything, please do your own research. This is not professional financial advice. This is just my opinion from doing my own research. A lot of places online will tell you this is a scam. This is a conspiracy theory. Some places online will say that Trump is a scam. And he, Q is a scam. Listen, there's so many opinions online. Don't believe everything you hear. I myself, I don't know what to believe when someone tells me that I'm going to put a, a few hundred dollars and turn into a millionaire. It's hard to believe. But one thing is, 
I wouldn't want to miss out. I myself have invested. I remember many, many years ago when the phone call came and someone told me to invest in Bitcoin now. It's a great buy. It's only $300 and I didn't. And today it's about $30,000. Um, last year is $50,000. So there's the evidence there, guys, that $300 investment can turn into $50,000. Um, it's happened many, many times in history. Do your own research before you do anything. I will leave the link in the bio where I bought my notes from. And if anything, guys, give me an email and I will help you out. Thank you.